okay in this video we'll be talking about delayed annuities delayed annuities are your ordinary annuities that start paying in some future year instead of just paying you from year one as we have been seeing in our ordinary annuities now people often make mistakes with the periods while figuring out the present values of a delayed annuity let's take a look at this example and hopefully it will not make the same mistakes we are given amy will receive a five-year annuity of $700 per year starting from year six. We're given the interest rate to be equal to 10%. We need to figure out the present value of this annuity. First step of this process, to visualize the timeline like always, right off the bat, you can tell that this is a delayed annuity because you're getting your payments from a future year, which is year six and not year one. We can also see these $700 payments occurring five times starting from year 6 and ending till year 10. Now here's our goal, we need to figure out the present value of this delayed annuity. That is, we need to figure out what will be this annuity worth to us in year 0, which is what we call the present. Now the problem will actually be a two-step process. First, we'll calculate the present value of this annuity using the formula that we have discussed in our annuity video. But that formula will only give us the value of this annuity in year 5. Why year 5 and not year 6? I'll discuss it when we are doing the math again. Now this present value annu annuity formula will give us the present value of the sum at year 5. How do we get to year 0? And that is step 2. We'll need to discount this sum, whatever sum we get, using the present value of an investment formula that also we have seen in one of our past videos. Alright. Let's start off with step one. We know this is the formula for the present value of an annuity. Uh, all we have to do now is substitute the values. Again, C is the payment that you get in first period, R is the interest rate, and T is the total number of periods. In our case, C is equal to $700. R is given in the question 10%, so it's 0.1. And total number of periods, that's just going to be number of periods. In this case, is equal to 5. So let's plug all of it in. We get 700 into 1 by 0 0.1 minus 1 by 0 0.1 into 1 plus 0 0.1 raised to the power 5. And you do all the math. And the present value of this annuity is equal to $2,653.55. The important thing to keep in mind here is that this present value is the value of the annuity at year 5 and not year six because this formula this present value of an annuity formula always gives you the present value one year before your first payment always keep that in mind the c is the payment that you get in year one and not the present and that is where students go wrong often anyway we have our value of this annuity at year five now which is equal to two thousand six hundred and fifty three dollars now let's move on to step two and discount this to year zero and over here we have the present value of investment formula for reference. Note that here CT is basically the money that you get in period T. Here, here is 5, so the T is also equal to 5. And we have a C to be equal to, as we calculated it to be, 2653.55. Let's then put all the values there. So get 2653.55 divided by 1 plus interest rate 0.1. And T again, as we just said, is just equal to 5. Do all of the math again, and the present value of this delayed annuity comes out to be equal to $1,647.64, which is a final solution. All right, now hopefully you know what delayed annuities are and how you can go about calculating the present values. Hope you got around that, and I'll see you in the next one.